Hello, good people. Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Now it's not midnight, it's not late night. I'm not really that well. The season is changing in Bangladesh. We used to have very nice weather recently in the winter time, but now as things are changing, now we're having 33 degrees Celsius, which is very hot already, and uh, people are falling sick. So yes, do pardon me if you cannot hear me properly because I'm not all that well. Um, so I'll still be doing this video because someone requested this couple of times. So yes, as I told you before, the channel is for you guys. If you support me, I grow. If you guys do not watch or like or subscribe, uh, I won't be able to carry on for that long, right? So it's all you guys, right? So yes, the video, as you can see from title, is very special. Uh, and uh, when you think of like weddings, um, sorry about the if this is distracting you, that pimple right there, it's, it's outcome of the fever and the flu. <laughs> Not a nice thing to say. Anyway, so you can look at you know, wedding in different ways. So wedding in overseas is different than wedding in Bangladesh or our subcontinents. Um, different weather one thing like different weather condition different season and the thing is you know like uh, surrounding uh, so our culture is a little bit different than your culture like if you're in western countries or europe uh, so bearing that in mind i have a selection and mix i'm doing this for the guys maybe i'll do it for the women uh, but i have to get some more collection but this is like a mix okay uh, for different uh, weather condition different part of the day and uh, what's you know what you are like so i'll be suggesting 10 total 10 no honorable mentions these are i think i looked at the whole collection and these are the ones i think i would like to wear if let's say i'm getting married <laughs> or uh, i am thinking someone who will want to get married you know stuff like that so you can think of it as a special day or you can think of the end of the life it's it's totally up to you <laughs> but here is my uh, suggestion for the wedding day send right so whoever asked for it uh, i'm sorry i did uh, didn't do it earlier right so here we go uh, and these are in particular order based on my choices and i'll tell you very brief description on each like i always do so number 10 i'm going to start with the fragrance i have two version of and i have a one extreme version and i have the edt version so i'm going with the edt version uh, because i believe this is more wearable this is more uh, easy to wear and it's a very classy, high class scent. It has uh, citrus up top, like there's oranges and stuff. But at the same time, it has this mature, high class, very manly feel, okay? The fragrance I'm talking about here is Guerlain, Lion Stand de Guerlain, Guerlain. This is very difficult for me to say because I'm not French and I have difficult time. <laughs> Lion Stand, Lion Stand de Guerlain, uh, EDT from the house of Guerlain. So the flanker I was talking about, the extreme version is just next year. I love them both, all right? I really love them. This is more of your uh, winter fragrance. It's a very serious fragrance. You know, you, can, you really need the right mood, the right occasion, and it's not going to be definitely every day. So it's kind of risky. If it's very cold, you can go for it. But I think this is going to be doing the trick. It will relax you. This is very high class. Think of Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, the feel you get from it, very high up class. At the same time, it's very handsome and it smells formal. It smells rich, posh, and, you know, mature. So you'd like to portray that on the special day, right? And people will definitely give you compliments. It lasts a very long time. And you don't need to reapply that much. You just go four or five sprays, you'll be good to go. So number 10, Lion Stand de Guerlain, the EDT. Right. So after that, let's move on to another classic scent. This is a classic forever. It gave birth to many, many uh, flankers, and you'll see. But... Uh, I didn't pick up any of the flankers, I picked the original, okay? This is from House of Chanel, and this is my first Chanel of the two in this whole rotation. So I have two Chanel's here, right? So Chanel is very up close for me. So first of all, I'm going to go with Elior Homme uh, by Chanel, okay? So Elior Homme, it's a EDT. Uh, this ring is still available for you to grab and buy at Chanel Boutique. It's not discontinued. It's a classic, guys. It's uh, It has very, uh, like a... The amount of notes in this fragrance, it, it's, it's a very sophisticated, it's a very complex at the same time. It's, it's just done so well. That's why it, it's still doing so good. It's in the mainstay of many men, real manly men. They have this in their shelf all the time. So this opens up a lot of citruses, fresh burst, but at the same time it will go in a different direction. It will give you a lot of peach, it will give you musk, it will give you that fresh feeling at the same time it will give you some peppery kick to it it's a classic if, if you are wearing this on a special day i definitely can see this is 
uh, wedding special written all over it. So number nine, Chanel Elior Homme from the house of Chanel. Number eight. Now this is gonna surprise a lot of you. You'll be like, why is this scent here? There you have so many other fragrances that's better than this. Yes, I understand this is my list. And uh, I picked this for those hot summer days. If you're getting married, let's say in the summer's time. The first two I showed you, 10 and 9, they are more, um, if a little bit cooler, like, you know, not like winter, but if let's say they are more in your spring. This fragrance right here, it smells so darn good. It's just, it's growing on me like anything. Summer's day, if you're get, getting married in Bangladesh and you need a daytime scent, you can uh, you can carry an atomizer with you, but this fragrance it relax you on the special day. It will just uh, hold your shit together. <laughs> you know, like you wouldn't think of like runaway bride or runaway groom rather, like Julia Roberts. You don't want that. So this fragrance is from House of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man Extreme. This is such a sweetheart of a fragrance. You know, it's like a hidden gem. I say it is a hidden gem. It's so easy to wear. Anyone can wear this. It can suit it up. You can wear it casually. But if you're wearing like a nice suit. Uh, in the daytime you're getting married and you don't want to choke yourself up too much with your perfume just want to relax you know that lemon burst that cactus and then a lot of uh, cedar going on i believe and vetiver so it, it makes it a very refreshing fragrance okay and it's very handsome and i think it will have good memories for if you're getting married on the day if you're getting married on the daytime you'll have good memories of this so this is my suggestion and I really love this. I think summer's day, it's excellent, okay? Be a very beautiful scent for almost all year round. Bulgari Man, extreme. All right, so moving on to number seven. This fragrance is gonna be like, people will be divided in the middle. Some people would say, ah, this is trash. There's no, how could you even put it in this list? I could put it because I think it's, it's, it's a workhorse. And this is a fragrance, it's an upgrade from the EDT that you have seen many times. It's a recent purchase. And this from House of Dior, I would say. Dior Sauvage EDP, Eau de Parfum. Why am I putting this in the list? Guys, like, literally, like, this fragrance has no creativity. Okay, honestly speaking, I'll tell you, it's not Fahrenheit. It, it's not dear own. It's not something that you fall in love with. But sure, if you are looking for the safest fragrance on that, what I'm going to wear? I didn't put Aventus in this list. All right? <laughs> Spoiler alert. I put another crate just next to this. But Aventus is just overdone. Even Savoy is overdone, but this is a new one. I think this is more mature, more sophisticated, a little bit darker, a little bit tad bit sweeter, and less spicy, less playful, less juvenile. I think this is excellent for any purpose, any time of the year. It does everything. It, has a, it is perfection in a bottle. There's no weakness in this fragrance. Apart from the people who are looking for artistic aspect of fragrance, there's no artistic aspect. But sometimes on the wedding day, you are the art <laughs> that's going to be sacrificed. <laughs> Horrible, horrible guy, horrible guy. I have a horrible taste in humor. Anyway, Savoy GDP is my... <laughs> okay, uh, next pick, all right? You can definitely look into this in daytime, nighttime, any time of the year. You can wear this. It's my recommendation to you. You guys know you're going to get this at some point, right? Buy it now uh, before anyone else gets it, right? Savoy GDP. Right, so foregone, I think number six, all right? Number six is the creed I was talking about. So why did I put this? This is a very underrated Crete fragrance, okay? This fragrance is there for a reason. Uh, it's refreshing. It's great for the summer's days. Daytime, it lasts a whole lot of time. It has opening a lot of citrus bursts. It's very nice, sort of almost again like uh, gray vetiver. It has vetiver in it, but it has that beautiful smooth transition. It has a green aspect to it, like a, um, I wouldn't say it's coriander. It's something, it's like basil, okay? So what it does, it gives a very up-class James Bond sort of feeling. If you're wearing like a tux, right tuxedo and you're just gonna be like dancing and stuff you're gonna be like a very classy guy this fragrance people don't give it the love i don't know why this is one of the best creeds i ever sniffed this is royal millicin royal water millicin sorry what's wrong with me this is royal water millicin by house from the house of creed a little bit expensive definitely but this fragrance is very up close guys you know if you don't want to do too much like too fast this is just like a guy who, you are you already established guy, people already respect you and stuff. Royal Water Millicin is my definite recommendation. It lasts a long, long time. So daytime, you can wear this for your wedding. It's a special fragrance, you cannot wear this every day maybe, but wedding, you'll have a good memory of this, okay? Number six. So now top five, I have, I think more or less uh, three designers and two niche. And one of them, not full bottle, it's just one sample, but I'll show you later. So number five, I'm gonna go with the fragrance, not loved by 
everybody. It's not understood by everybody. Now it's discontinued. It's a flanker from the Chanel Ellier line. And this is the last Chanel in the line. This is, I think, Robe 08 Mark. His wedding day scent, right? This is a very special fragrance. Edition Blanche EDP. This is lemon cream pie in the community. It's known as that. It doesn't last a whole lot of time. It, it does great in a sort of like springtime rather than extreme winter or extreme hot. It doesn't last for that time. But for the wedding, if you're going like, you know, like a nice sort of uh, by the lake or the sea, you know, ocean, you're getting married. Imagine you have nice, you know, Greek pillars and stuff, whatever. You, you, your setup is like on the sand. If you're wearing like a white uh, suit or something like that with a nice white shirt or gray, you know, something, you know, like those kind of, this kind of combination, like white, clean feel, you would like to wear this. This is one of the, I would say, niche quality juice offered from a designer's house. Chanel Allure Edition Blanche is my number five pick. Number four pick, this fragrance is kind of tricky. There is a EDD version and then there's this EDD version. This House of Prada, this is my favorite. Okay, you can may disagree and stuff. This is a Prada Loam Intense. The Prada Loam is good enough on its own, but it's kind of like, eh, you know, like it's not, you know, it, it, I, I want a little bit more from it. But this thing, this fragrance right here, it gives me that. It gives me that leather, patchouli, it gives it a little bit darkness, that, that iris is a little bit uh, classier and mysterious with this fragrance, okay? If you're getting married in the evening time, colder time, doesn't matter, even summer it works, all right? Definitely check this out, Prada Loam Intense. It's my recommendation, it lasts a very long time as well, all right? Prada Loam Intense is my number four. <clears throat> number three, underrated juice. You wouldn't expect this. This fragrance is especially the one you wouldn't see coming here, okay? I'm putting it in the list because I love it so much. I think this is high class. This is very, very, very masculine and very, uh, it's up there with the dear Eau Sauvage or uh, if you think of anything classy for the men from back in the time, it has a vanillic, you know, it's like a sort of vanilla, citrus and spices in the opening. Very, very um, long lasting, it projects like crazy. This is Jaipur Am from House of Boucheron. This is my vintage bottle. You can get even the recent formulation, no problem whatsoever. I recommend this highly. If you're gonna be dressed up, you're gonna just like be confident. You're just gonna enjoy your fragrance and everybody else will enjoy this with you, right? Jaipur Am from the House of Boucheron. Now number two. Number two is the fragrance is easy peasy. You know, like it's one of the safest from this house. I think this is the safest fragrance from this house. And if someone asks me, Joy, which one should I buy from House of Amouage first? I would say buy Reflection Man. This bottle is the prettiest bottle in my opinion, honest opinion, after Lyric Man. But Lyric Man, I don't, I'm not a very big fan of the smell. This fragrance does Lamal, like it takes the status of Lamal up here. Lamal is more loud, obnoxious, a little bit juvenile and, you know, bad boy. This is clean. This guy is handsome. This guy is like everything you want from a good man, right? This is a good man scent. And Jeremy knows what he's talking about, right? Very beautiful. Uh, uh, last a very long time. It's clean. Also a little bit like fresh out of the shower, soapy. So if you want to evoke that, you can definitely look for this fragrance too. You'll not regret this wearing this on your wedding day. So number two, Amouage. And this is Reflection Man. All right. That leads me to my number one. My number one is a sample. I don't have a full bottle. Uh, I can afford it. I can buy the bottle, but it to, to run me bankrupt for some time. Oud Satin Mood from the house of Mason Francis Kirkshawn. All right. Uh, Francis Kirkshawn's private line. So this is how the bottle looks. I reviewed it and I think I rated this highly, as high as Baccarat Rouge 540. But Baccarat Rouge, it's, I thought of it. Should I put it in the list? Baccarat Rouge is more like a dating, a dreamy, a little bit flirty. On the day, wedding day, you need the Sultan. You need, you need the Sultan or Sultan, however you say it. You want the best of the best of the best. This I feel so far, I tried four, five, six. This Oud Satin Mood is the one that sets my mood. This has made... I think my Valentine's Day also, no, didn't make Valentine's Day, but this made some lists, all right? And I highly love this juice because it lasts all day. You just need very small dash of it. From this even small sample you carry it, you don't need to reapply for the whole day. And it makes you feel so posh. It makes you feel sweet. It makes you feel posh and um, dark. If you're a fan of oud, even if you're not a fan of oud, check this out. This is my recommendation. Number one, wedding scent. Uh, recommendation, Wood Satin Mood by MFK. 
do let me know how you enjoyed the list and did I miss out anything what would be your suggestion that's all I have for today sorry video ran a little long but I just wanted to tell you why I chosen this 10 fragrances that's all I have for you today I'll talk to you soon if I have some new fragrances have a nice day have a nice evening wherever you are bye bye